Hey guys, Justin here. I'm in Warnborough right now and one more video before we end off Perth this year. Before we end off Perth this year, we'll resume Perth next year. This last video, according to the caption, soon be two. So that's why we're going to check out the Lakeland station before we leave, which is down between Warnborough and Mandurah. So that's going to do a loop between Man Wombra and Mandra. It's gonna be almost like 30 minutes for this video. <laughs> Just for one station section doing a loop and it will be almost 30 minutes because this section will be third will be 13 minutes. It's been a while since I've taken this section. It's been a while since I've been down to Mandra and also is scheduled to open Lakeland stations next year during the middle of the year, like around June. So let's go ahead and check out the construction site in Lakeland to see how the construction works has go is going. And tonight there will be Rockingham to Mandra closure to uh, facilitate the uh, the construction work. So that's why. All right, let's just go and take a look at it. And also, this is actually the last video, so I'm, I'm actually lucky to be on board set one two six, which is the la last set of B series, the latest one. So the newest B-series, which is pretty decent. To end off Perth this year, I'll be going to the airport tomorrow night and take my flight back home to Hong Kong. Hopefully I can board. I need to make sure I make sure I actually have all of the requirements met. Okay, we'll check out Lakeland Station when we pass through. Still a while down there, so that's why let's keep going. Uh, set 92 is at the back, but this is set 1 to 6 here. Now, actually, I know that next week there will be again Oban Grove, some very soon there will be again Oban Grove to Elizabeth Key closure during the middle of the day and have train replacement buses going again. And also having the trains running on the wrong side of the, of the lanes, wrong side of the tracks, but I have, should have already returned to Hong Kong, so that's why. Live stream tonight talking about the schedules and all of the uh, stuff that will be going back to Hong Kong and all of the uh, like details and also the requirements of entering Hong Kong right now. So you guys can go ahead and refer to that live stream tonight. I won't save it, so that's why I try your best if you can uh, join in because it's not something any like very important things that you have to that I have to record down forever that I leave the leave there. So that's why. Plus, probably. No one will be going to Hong Kong for tourism anytime soon because of the uh, requirements still. But the Hong Kong people are basically free to go, I think. There has been already a lot of people going to uh, travel already resume. So, but uh, when you go to Hong Kong for, from other countries for traveling, you can. But uh, you have to expect that you need to stay over a week in order to actually making sure that things go smooth because because there will be uh, medical surveillance for the first three days when you arrive and uh, after that you still need to do four days of your own rat test before you go out although you can freely go after the third day of arrival but uh, you still need to do a rat test and record it down for other four days and because you actually cannot dine in for the first three days under medical surveillance that's why <laughs> You'll be ha having a lot of hell of time because uh, everywhere you can't go most of the time. You can only take like public transport and you can like quote unquote, you can go out. That's all. You can just go out without doing anything. You can go out and walk around. You can go out and buy things in supermarkets. You can go around and buy takeouts. You can go around and like meet people. You can meet people like your friends, you can meet them, but you cannot eat at restaurants. You cannot go into any like uh, entertainment facilities. You cannot go into anywhere. So that's fine. That's what I'm gonna do on the first three days. I can still film, that's the good thing. So that's why on the first three days, I will film Israel Line, of course. That's the first thing we're gonna do and then we'll start on the requests that you guys have left. I'll try to get Chris back into the channel. It's been a while since I have filmed videos with Chris. So let's get Chris back into the video and let's see, let's see whether we do a collab together. Last year we did a collab, and uh, this year maybe we'll do another collab. And I also hope for Bus Channel I can collab with Michael. 
back again. My my very true bus fan friend in Hong Kong, so that's why. We're almost passing through Lakeland Station. And we'll see how the construction work has been going. I've checked that out, out like a few months ago, but it has been a few months. Maybe they have like already finished extra, a lot more than last time. So let's go and check it out. Lakeland Station is actually very useful because there are quite a lot of areas near Lakelands that there's actually pretty decent stuff there. So that's why at least like a lot of residential areas that is pretty inconvenient if you actually get off a Mandarin and take back a bus up there. <laughs> We're gonna slow down when we pass through Lakeland Station. Is it how long this section is? Not even close because we're still at the 5 minute, 6 minute mark. We should arrive at Lakeland Station around at the uh, 7 minute mark or 8 minute mark. And then we we'll take the other direction back to Warnborough later on. Main focus of this video is to check out Lakeland Stations. Before I go, then I, hopefully I don't miss too many things. Next year I should be able to come back and uh, open and uh, take uh, Lakeland Station opening next year. Although it'll be very busy, but I think they open in June and July, which is semester break, so that's why it should be good. But during semester break, I might want to fly again. <laughs> yes, I might want to fly because, you know, I really want to visit the east side this time. Last time, uh, last year, I, I mean this year, I went to Adelaide to just visit my friends and stuff. Might still go to Adelaide this year, but I probably go to Melbourne or Sydney and all of that areas. But we'll figure it out next year. Year two for me next year, so that's why. But still, I'm waiting for my results this year, so <laughs> they were released when I am in Hong Kong, so that's why. Hope for the best. We got a big patch of land out there. Later on, we'll take we'll take a look at that big patch of land outside. It looks like it's another residential area. Maybe is related to the Lakeland Station opening. So that's why they're building an extra residential area outside. Here's Lakeland Station. Very soon, it's just at the front. So that's why later on, this long section will be broken up into two sections. So this is the last time we're going to take. No, not last time. Maybe next year I can still do some. But it's going to be the last time I will take this section this year. Mornbro Mandra, 13 minutes long for the whole section. And they don't be broken up into two sections because of Lakeland stations. Alright, looks like we should be almost there at Lakeland stations. Not stations, Lakeland station. It should be right here. Yes, here it is. Here we go, Lakeland Station. Is it here? Uh, not yet. And almost there, I think under a bridge, under a, uh, an arch, and then on the outside is Lakeland Station. Should be here. Here we go. Lakeland Station, here it is. Wow, the structure is very nicely built already. Very nicely built, the structures. Props still missing the concourse though, so. Maybe they need to take some time to deal with the concourse, but the station structure is basically there. You can kind of see it, this train is running very fast, so that's why you still don't really know. Later on there will be trains stopping there. I mean, every single train will stop there. They won't set up another pattern for Lakeland Station, like skipping Lakeland Station or some crap like that. Well, talking about skipping stations, uh, Midland Line just recently, on Friday actually, just had some stupid disruption causing them to actually run express on uh, the Midland Line sections, which is very funny because that's some of the stuff that they actually had a lot of years ago for the pattern skipping stations on the Midland Line. So, 
there are like a lot of different types of express like Midland to even one of them I think is Midland to Perth express no stopping all the way through from Midland to Perth some is Midland to Bayswater some is Midland to Bazendeen and then skip Ashfield to Bayswater and then all stops <laughs> sounds like the people in the middle like so Cess Hill and Guildford are like completely like eh? why trains are not stopping but I think it should be solved now tomorrow actually there will be nighttime airport line closures so that's why home now, I know it's not closing to the airport, it's closing Perth to Claremont and closing the whole Fremantle line. So that's why hopefully the, my trains to airport won't get affected. I will be taking the trains around at 8 p.m. at night. So that's why the train's disruption should have started. So that's why I need to be careful. I really actually have a last have a chance that you go to Bayswater station to have a quick look again but maybe tomorrow night when I take the airport line I will go by Bayswater and I will include that into the vlog my Perth to Hong Kong vlog of course you guys know the Perth to Hong Kong vlog will be uploaded when I return to Hong Kong so that's why hopefully it will be smooth because yesterday when I checked Cafe Pacific about my flights that I've booked the flight to Hong Kong for me on, 20, on uh, the day later on is okay, it's confirmed. But the flight, for, but my return flight to Perth has been cancelled. <laughs> and uh, Cafe Pacific helped me automatically book the flight next day following the cancelled day. So luckily I checked. If not, I don't know anything. So that's why luckily I checked and I confirmed that I will be taking a flight later day one day later so that's why that's maybe a good thing but actually it's a good thing because originally i'm going back like at the start of february now i don't need to go back too fast at the start of february still at the fe start of february but here's mandra uh, i don't really know the name of the depot is it mandra depot mandra. but this surface terminates is this also called mandra depot or something else i think it's called mandra depot at right, mandra depot B series, mostly B series. I think the C series is uh, at uh, Noragup, North, before Butler. Not going up there. Now, planned C series entrance entry will be next year, but let's see whether they will be able to actually successfully finish testing the C series and get them in. I think it will be uh, set 127 for C series starting. And then, uh, okay, here we go, slow down again, entrance. Actually, I want to say is bus services in Mandra is actually not bad Because in Mandra There is there are two routes for circular around Mandra one is anti-circular one anti-clockwise one is clockwise 588 and 589 These two routes are actually 15 minutes per bus even on weekends Yes, it is not start with high frequency. It is not a nine route, but it still has service 15 minutes per train per bus so it's actually pretty decent if you actually want to go to Mandra on weekends. You can still loop around Mandra pretty easily with the 588 or 589, 15 minutes per bus. And of course, the other buses that goes to like uh, Monana, <laughs> uh, Monana, and then Erskine, I think that, that area is called, uh, two hours per bus. That's, that's going to be ex expected. Especially 592 Monana, two hours per bus. And I think the one to Erskine, 591, is one hour per bus. Some to Lakelands, I think it's also one hour per bus. So that's why you see how useful Lakeland Station will be. 589 is 15 minutes per bus, so it's actually very useful. Alright, we'll skip ahead. Is there 14 minutes? Holy crap. Just one station section, 14 minutes, seriously? Alright, Mandra. So this terminates here. Here we go, let's go back to Wombra. Next station, Wombra. Next station, Wombra.
now let's go ahead and check out Lakeland Station from the other direction this time. And Lakeman Station, pretty nicely built already, that's very nice. On this side, I'm actually not focusing, damn it. <laughs> but it's a pretty good structure, they have a kind of built a concourse, but kind of not built a concourse, because concourse is not really fully covered up yet. But I can see the stairs, I can see where the lift is going to be, and uh, the platform's clearly six cars. Yeah, everything is almost done and ready for takeoff. We're really not really using takeoff anymore. Airport line is takeoff, but ready for opening next year, probably for sure.
very nice day today. Tomorrow we're heading to the airport. Hope for the best that I can go back smoothly. Because my friends are waiting for me. My parents are waiting for me. So that's why. Now, actually, surprisingly, there are no three car trains today because sometimes on the weekends, Mandarin Line will use three car trains. So, so far, everything is six cars that I can see. And of course, on set one to six, also, same car didn't change. Wow, it's far. <laughs> so far. Wow, this is really far. Wow, it already took me like th really for real 30 minutes just to loop these two sections and also wait for the train to depart when I'm at Mandra. Looks like we can do sit down films again. That guy has moved and not looking at me anymore. Actually, I just checked the, my flight for tomorrow, not tomorrow, yes. for, for, to, uh, for going back to Hong Kong. It was pretty, it is actually pretty packed, unexpectedly pretty packed actually. I still can actually choose a better seat. I still actually, I did move my seat to the windows, of course, because I need to film the vlog. So of course I need to film the takeoff, but originally it was actually in the aisle, it's, a, it's an aisle seat. It's not a middle seat, but it's an aisle seat, so. But I chose a, uh, a spot, actually so far no one is next to me, 
so which is pretty good I think yeah the seat is next to the window and no one's next to me so that's why it's perfect all right warm bra made it back hope you guys enjoyed this video remember to like and subscribe click the bell so they can get notifications when I post last train video here in Perth and it's reasonable to actually open the door and I'll see you guys back in Hong Kong. Peace!